Working with other guys. Naye mukama na nkwata ko nentani ko musabira. Nga first of all taina muli munza akola bwalaba sente zange nga ziba nagenda nanywa mu mwenge. Nga mpulira obusungu. Kati nze ne sala onenga mbo wangine nge mutu nde every Friday. Kati nenji go kumusabira took long like 3 years. Nga taina muli munzi kuli chimunga chili kunze. Bwemba nteka yo tai nga nteka mwe linyalye. Nga tamide nga mukwate bigere nga musabira nalaba nga nange nchuse. Nata so nayagalo kutegera where do i go that the first time when we came here but ya uliranga nera dad yagamba since akatonda mwana wange na na ile chimukwata ko i really want to thank god oh hiyo kusumuluka ba wange na afune chiroto nga dad to mungangamba chichito yagala ne mugamba i want my husband to get a job na ngamba kale jangu kusabire ba wange na afuno mulimo right now i really thank god my husband has a job i really thank god and uh, nafumbirwa omwami ngatanja gala bulungi yalina gwaya gala nga naye tazala kati najje wange nzale addeyo gwe woli gwaya gala sawo eno nze muchala nga namusanga nga mukawu nnyonyo nnyo ayomba nnyonyo nnyo ne kijiko kimu yombya ne foko ne chikopo nga mbera nsirika simuddamu naye we najje mutundwe mu 2010 msanvu nga nakwe nduma nnyonyo nnyo nkabo obuziga jaji bwatu gamba musimba bwayogera ku chikolimo eh nga bana fadda ne nsaba mukama nyambe mfune ngeri jentu kawano kuba nali na mugongo kati ne tusengukira ku mpimpi ne wano ne mbera nganzi ja wano ne wenjogerera wano omwami yangambe munange nze simanyi obabo bawo nyinza kubantya <laughs> sacha amanyi kuyomba nali nakwata ne byayomba nga manya kati echo chikopa agenda koze sa phrase wet naye kati tumala no mwezi manyino gamba na yeyo no bova kale mukama yeya ne uunisa yampa nali nzala bana balenzi berere nenga buli rubuto lwemfu na tujje munga mugamba lulo na lujja muto fa yolo no lwange nenja mfuna obuzibu ku mwana wo ku bili nabanga ali autistic nte yeso bola bulunji nangamba nzala bana balizibu mukama chabere do wet so mwana wange kati ayogera yenyu esa yelisa Yona bikola no kutula atula ayogera buli chimu so tamenya nche baliza mukama ne chilala yampa de baby girl fine Ah it's too one the same busy za mukama Neva za mukama daddy kweba za nyoro muri mu munene go tukola mu nengo omwami wanga anyo omwenge ngo mtu neva jana mugamba tugende kugulire yonga kwate kubone bagenda nebo afuna sente wakate wali chinga agenda na nyo omwenge ne wabere wako mwana na FH kopo na tandika kugwe na vuma ne ntuka nga njagala chuke omwami na nsulire bintu vwa makaga ngegenda abachala ne bangamba to siba na guma ne ntula ne bamugoba kumulimu Omwami na tule waka tuli chizibu chija maka katonda baya galo kuja kudala lio liko kuza kudale dala Abo lugando omwami ya tule waka omwami ya loko kera ku radio sawe na jawano era yafuna omuli mona omwami kati ayagala katonda no kusinga nze chitiba chiriza mfama Before we go any further as well, I would like to invite Faith to come and lead us in a word of prayer. Shall we humble ourselves for a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, creator of the universe, to the glory and honor of your name, we come before you today committing these activities into your hands, the entire water week into your hands. We want to thank you for our country, Uganda. We want to thank you for its leadership, for you ordained it. 
We want to thank you for the Ministry of Water and Environment, its leadership, its staff, and all the stakeholders of the entire ministry. Father, I pray that you may come down and reign in victory in all the activities, that you will be glorified and you reign forever. To the glory and honor of your name, I pray. Thank you very much, Faith. Um, I would like to welcome all of you, our special guests. Thank you for, so much for taking the time to join us and also for keeping time. We are a little behind schedule, so I will introduce our participants and our special guests even as they take the podium to speak. So let's begin today's event. Hello and welcome to the opening ceremony of the Uganda Water Environment Week 2021. The week has a series of events planned that provide an interface for knowledge exchange and a dialogue on pertinent water resources issues among sector actors and other st uh, stakeholders. The theme for this year is Water and Environment Security for Social Economic Transformation of Uganda. This entire week is put together with support from different partners. Among them, we have UNDP, Water Aid Uganda, GIZ Natures, IRC Uganda, IUCN, SNV, WWF, Care International, Austrian Development Agency, Environment Alert, Food Rights Alliance, CSBAG, and many more partners. My name is Josephine Karunji, and I will be moderating and co-hosting this event today with uh, Charles Odonto. He will be joining us shortly. We're going to show you a short video. To give us an understanding of what the week is really about. I would like for uh, us to play that video so that people get a sense of what we will be talking about. It will also set the stage for the rest of our conversation today and for the entire week. All right. Uganda Water and Environment Ministry of Water and Environment Institute. This week has been WEC was first celebrated in 2018 with the Vice President of Uganda, His Excellency Honorable Edward Sekandi, gracing the inaugural ceremony. During the same event, the Uganda Water Resources Institute was formally launched by the Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda, Dr. Hakan Arugunda. Being the interface between sector actors and other stakeholders, a lot of learning, knowledge exchange and dialogue was witnessed during the second event. Plastics and other litter have invaded every ocean, lake and river at all depths. Floods are washing away our fellow children men and women to address these worldwide disasters all of us must work together since 2018 the annual water and environment week has sought to contribute towards attainment of sustainable socio-economic transformation of ugandans in achieving ugandan national development plan and vision 2040 during this week Uganda joins the rest of the world in commemorating three vital and interlinked days on the United Nations calendar. Every year, the UN works with governments, community organizations and other civil society organizations to promote both local and global activities for the World Afforestation Day, World Water Day and the World Meteorological Day. On 21st March, the World International Day of Forests is observed globally. Several activities are planned and these include tree planting campaigns, exhibits and events that portray the importance of forests and trees, sharing forest-related infographics, videos, news and messages. On the 22nd of March, World Water Day is celebrated. This day focuses on the of freshwater resources. On 23rd March, the day is celebrated. It commemorates the entry into force in 1950 of the convention that created the World Meteorological Organization. This day highlights the contribution of national meteorological and hydrological services to the well-being of society. 
as part of the national sensitization and awareness plan for the third ministry of water and environment patterned with workers association of uganda and global consulting services to organize a 330 kilometer walk from Mavira Central Forest Reserve in Boyiko District to the banks of River Rizi in Bara District. The 10 days walk, dubbed Walk for Water, Environment and Climate Change, was graced by the Archbishop of Church of Uganda, His Grace Stephen Kazimba Mugalu. Thank you for being part of the online sessions for the Uganda Water and Environment Week 2020. We're going to watch another video on uh, Water Day, and I, I think that video should be playing right now. Water Day is the 22nd of, of March, which is tomorrow, so it will also give us a context into what is happening um, during the, the week and during the day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth Uganda Water and Environment Week 2021. The focus of the Water Week is to improve our understanding of the centrality and value of water and environment resources in transforming Uganda's economy and improving livelihoods. This will be explored under the theme Water and Environment Security for Socio-Economic Transformation of Uganda, which is further discussed under the following four sub-themes. One, Valuing water and environment resources for socio-economic transformation of Uganda. Two, water and environment in a creative economy. Three, dealing with water and environment shock. And four, ensuring water and environment security for sustainable urban growth. Prior to the Water Week celebration, Several pre-event activities related to water and environment have been carried out in different parts of the country. On the 9th to 19th of March, we had a 371-kilometer walk for water, environment, climate change and public health, raising awareness of the need for restoration and planting of the banks of River Nyamwamba. We also had a Lake Victoria expedition with Flip Floppy, the world's first sailing boat made from 100% recycled plastic. The goal of this voyage was to send an urgent message to the East African community mm -hmm. on the need to end the unnecessary single-use plastic scourge that is threatening the region. A forest dialogue was held to celebrate the International Day of Forests under the theme Forest Restoration, a path to recovery and well-being. The event heightened the need for addressing issues related to deforestation, forest restoration and environmental degradation. Regional activities were held by all the six regional structures of Ministry of Water and Environment in partnership with other stakeholders highlighting how they are dealing with key water and environment pressing issues in their region. On the 21st of March, the Speaker of Parliament also launched the annual tree planting campaign 2021 where the Ministry of Water and Environment, in collaboration with Uganda Breweries Limited, organized the 2021 edition of the Running Out of Trees. A campaign aiming at planting 40 million trees in one day with a symbolic run of 330 kilometers relay from Kampala to Gulu City. This was Uganda Water and Environment Week has several parallel sessions running from Monday the 22nd to Friday the 26th of March 2021 for you to attend. Okay, so there are week-long activities arranged until the weekend of the 26th, which is Friday this week, and uh, 
But even ahead of those events, a lot has been happening, as you've seen in the video that we just saw. So just for, for us to all keep in mind, we are live on two TV stations, Uganda Broadcasting Corporation and also NBS TV. So I'll also ask that the people who are constantly moving around keep that in mind as um, that picture will be on the screen. This is a three-hour online televised event. A lot of the people that will be participating have joined us online. Um, if you're sharing key highlights from today and throughout the week, we're using a hashtag, UWEWK21. Um, and also now to give us more information about the event, but also to welcome our special guests and also set the stage for what the rest of our conversation will be. I'm going to invite the chairperson of the organizing committee of this event, Dr. Kalist Tindimguya, and I'm going to just read a brief profile about him as he makes his way to the podium uh, opposite mine. Dr. Kalist is a commissioner and head of the Department of Water Resources Planning and Regulation in the Ministry of Water and Environment with overall responsibility for ensuring sustainable and equitable utilization and protection of water resources for Uganda. He has been working with the Ministry of Water and Environment in Uganda for 30 years now. He is one of the brains behind the Water Resources Institute and the Uganda Water and Environment Week. He has been the chair of the Technical Committee of the Uganda Water and Environment Week since 2018. Dr. Kalis, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I honor the Minister of Water and Environment representing the Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda, who is our guest of honor. The Honorary Minister of Lands, Environment and Gurunji Wansi in the Uganda Kingdom, the UN Resident Coordinator for Uganda, the UNDP Resident Representative, the Food and Agriculture Organization Resident Representative, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our development partners, colleagues, welcome to the fourth Uganda Water and Environment Week 2021. We have a number of activities lined up and we shall be discussing the theme Water and Environment Security for Sustainable Social Economic Development of Uganda. We do hope that you are ready to walk this journey with us. We started about a month ago with pre-event activities and we are continuing with a packed week which is starting today afternoon and we shall close on Friday 26th March from 2 to 4 p.m. We have a number of presentations that will be made and will be starting today with a keynote presentation on the overall theme. We are happy to present to you a number of panelists, experts in various fields that are going to be sharing with us their perspectives and views on how water and environment security can contribute to the sustainable development of Uganda. We shall also have, be having a number of young people that will be making appeals to us on how we can improve the way we do things. For your information, ladies and gentlemen, we have been having a walk running for 371 kilometers from Kampara to Kasese near River Nyamwamba, and we shall also be showing you the gallant Ugandans that have been part of this walk. So as we continue, on behalf of the organizing committee, I would like to thank the substantive chair, Dr. Florence Grace Adong. She's having another capacity, that's why I'm speaking on behalf of the chair, but I've been chairing the technical committee. We have designed a very interesting program, and we do hope that those of you who will not be able to be with us here physically will participate online. As we speak now, we have a number of people participating online. But this, one, this event wouldn't have been as it is now without the hard work of the National Organizing Committee members. I would like to request the National Organizing Committee members stand up wherever you are so that you can be appreciated and I would want to request that we give them a big clap. Stand up, National Organizing Committee members. You have done a good job. But we are not yet there. We shall evaluate ourselves on Friday when we will be closing this event. We have also been supported by a number of partners, and I would like to request that we show the partners on screen so that the guests of honor and the dignitaries attending this event can know the scope of support we have received.
Can we have a short screen showing the various patterns? I will not mention them, but you can see the screen is full. That's an indication that we have had a lot of interest in this event, and we are happy that you have supported us to make things happen. So all of these patterns you see on the screen, some of them have been mentioned. We shall not mention you by name because you are many, but we would like to thank you on behalf of the organizing committee for supporting us and for making UWEC 2021 a success. Thank you very much. Let's give them a big clap. Well, uh, a guest of honor, maybe before I end, let's invite the workers. The, the team which has been part of the 371 work. Can I request the, the, the main worker, the lead worker, Geoffrey Ayeni, and your team, if you can move forward. I know a number of them are still there, but they have been supported by many people. You can imagine walking 371 on foot, and you are walking for water, environment, you see how they walked. So walking for water, let's give them a big clap. We had one lady as part of the workers. So this is the only lady that was working with the gentlemen, and we want to thank you. We have shown that ladies can do everything men can do. They have been supported by a number of people along the way. They have met various people. The, the Minister of Land, the Environment and Buganda actually met them at the first stop. Along the way they met by district officials and when they reached Fort Porto they were met by the Toro Kingdom. So again we want to thank the workers for continuously supporting us to raise awareness about the importance of water and environment resources. With those I want to welcome you once again and wish you an enjoyable Water and Environment Week, where we feel that we shall benefit from your interaction and presence. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Kalist. They, they're constantly telling us that the future is young and also that the future is female. So I want to recognize two young girls, females, who I would like to invite to come to the podium. They're passionate about the environment. They're, they're the only two young females here, young girls from school, who are passionate about the environment and who are going to say something to us about that. So Valerie and Vanessa, please come to the podium. Okay, this is Valerie and Vanessa is, is joining her. So uh, Valerie, you can introduce yourself to the people that are watching. Um, hello ladies and gentlemen. My name is Valerie Nalwima. I'm in grade five. I'm 12 years old. I'm a Youth Go Green child. And I'm happy that Youth Go Green is mentoring us to this week. Okay, Vanessa, do you want to introduce yourself? Hello ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vanessa Namakula. I'm 14 years old, I'm in four, senior one, I'm a youth go green, and I'm happy that it's mentoring us. So Valerie and Vanessa are from Youth Go Green, and they're here to give us a poem in relation to what we are here to talk about today. You may proceed. My poem is going to be based on water resources. Mama Uganda the real power of Africa, lakes and rivers, with fresh waters of Nalugale and Shira, providing fresh fish taken to none world over, making Uganda a magnet of tourists. I love you, Mama Uganda. Mama Uganda, you are crying, cause your children are your own enemy, stabbing you from left, right, and center in the name of the economy, draining all your waters, suffocating all your waters, now the importer are dying mysteriously. All swans replaced by rice skins, Mama Uganda, weep no more. We, the young generation, need to see you smile again, creating a conducive environment, recycling and reusing, proper garbage dumping, Everyone has a part to play. Let's all go green. God bless go green. God bless Uganda.
O Uganda, the pearl of Africa, our motherland, evergreen, full of potential to feed and lead us all into prosperity and harmony. Uganda, with good climate, forests, lakes and rivers, abundant rain, mountains and valleys, oh, what a beauty. Fellow citizens, why are you selfish, draining swamps every other day, planting rice, deforestation, yet deforestation causes desertification, desertification causes deforest environmental disaster. People in power, save the environment, think about the wetlands. Are you exalting or exhausting? Are you making it better or bitter? Investors or wasters? Many questions, few answers. The ball is in your hands. All leaders, are you managers or damagers? Fellow children, die every day and night, yet we have a right to live in a green and clean environment. No, no, enough is enough. You and I have a duty to protect our environment and make Uganda a better place for us to live in. Long live youth go green, long live Uganda for God and my country. I think we can do better than that. How many young people do we have coming up to boldly speak about the environment? Just one quick question for both of you. Why are you passionate about the environment? I'm passionate about the environment because I believe that Uganda has, is full of potential. We have very many tourist attractions. We have the mansion falls, but I believe that if our environment is kept clean, we shall it will boost in our economy and we also love nature. And we all want to live in a beautiful and clean environment. Vanessa? Well, I do love nature a lot. I love mountains, the valleys, the lakes, the rivers and to make Uganda a better place, to make Uganda a green country, a green and clean environment, then we have a potential to be a better country than we are right now. Thank you very much, Valerie and Vanessa. You can take your seats. We just wanted to be sure that nobody put the words in your head and clearly you, you speak from the heart about the environment. Um, let's keep with the program and I am now going to invite the UN Resident Coordinator, Ms. Rosa Malango, to come and speak to us. But even as she comes, I'll just give us a brief about um, her profile. Ms. Rosa Malango has been at the United Nations, uh, has been the UN Resident Coordinator and Designated Official for Security in Uganda since 2016. She is the highest ranked representative of the UN in Uganda. She ensures overall team leadership of the UN system in Uganda. She ensures the interlinkage and mutual reinforcement of humanitarian development, peace and security and human rights through implementation of the United Nations Development Assistance Framework 2016-2020 in support of the National Development Plan Vision 2040 and the 2030 Agenda. I'll stop there and I will invite her to take the floor. Good afternoon, everyone. I really wanted to um, begin by conveying my heartfelt congratulations to the ministry. Um, this is the first time I'm in this room, and um, it's a really uh, impressive. So, congratulations to the ministry for having this here. I will now read uh, my remarks on behalf of the United Nations system on the occasion of the beginning of Uganda's Water Week. Um, the Honorable Minister for Water and Environment, representing the Right Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda, um, other Honorable Ministers present and following online, Honorable Members of Parliament, local government officials, representatives of civil society and the private sector, members 
of the Youth SDG Coalition, youth climate leaders from Uganda, colleagues from the UN system, in particular the UNDP and FAO country representatives, the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the United Nations system, I am delighted to participate in this year's Water and Environment Week. Congratulations for a great plan to raise awareness about three UN days, namely the International Day of Forest, which is today, the World Water Day, which is tomorrow, and the World Meteorological Day, which is on the 23rd of March. I wish to thank the Ministry of Water and the Environment for this idea and for inviting me to give an address at this function on topics which are close to the heart of the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and the African values of Ubuntu Mulamu, which I share. I am here in the context of the 2030 Agenda, which all United Nations member states, including Uganda, adopted as a common vision using inclusive partnerships to achieve the 17 Sustainable Development Goals with a common end to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity. Climate change, forests, and water are at the epicenter of our journey towards shared prosperity. We have an individual and collective responsibility to take action now. Ladies and gentlemen, today is International Day of Forests, celebrated under the theme Forest Restoration, a Path to Recovery and Well-Being. Forests provide health benefits for everyone, such as fresh air, nutritious foods, clean water, and space for family recreation. In developed countries, up to 25% of all medicinal drugs are plant-based. In developing countries, this rises to as high as 80%. According to the 2020 Water and Environment Sector Performance Report, in Uganda, forest coverage has reduced from 24% in 1990 to 12.4% in 2020. This means that in another 20 years, Uganda could stop being the pearl of Africa due to deforestation. The question is, what are we going to do today to ensure the protection of our forests? And allow me to highlight a few. Budongo Forest, Bugoma Forest, Zoka Forest, and Madeira Forest. Concerted action by cultural leaders, the private sector, and the government is key because failure to act will lead to more natural disasters, devastation, and poverty. So tomorrow, the 22nd of March, is International Water Day under the theme Valuing Water. Now we know water is critical for our households, food, culture, for health, education, the economic development, and the integrity of our natural environment. If we do not understand what is true relevant, we will miss the opportunity to protect and teach our children to safeguard this critical resource. Water can exist without us, but we cannot exist without water. As the UN, we share Uganda's aspiration to improve the quality of life at the household level, to move parishes to a money economy, and to enhance both production and social protection. But for this to be done, it has to be done in a sustainable manner. We must apply the concept of environmental protection to development, especially in light of the growing population and rapid urbanization. We must carefully implement both our approaches and technologies for agriculture, industrialization, services, ICT, tourism, and other sectors. We must pursue green industrialization, green agribusiness. We must use renewable energy, and we must promote environmental friendly healthcare and tourism. We must invest in community participation 
participation in disaster preparedness and we must support heritage tourism leading the way to showcase not just the cultural kingdom and their sites but also local values around conservation. Ladies and gentlemen, our new global data shows that more than 1.4 billion people, including over 450 million children, live in areas of high or extremely high vulnerability to water. This means that globally, one in five children do not have enough water to meet their daily needs. Climate change is making this worse. When disasters hit, they destroy or contaminate entire water services, increasing the risk of diseases like cholera and typhoid to which children in Uganda are particularly vulnerable. With the advent of COVID-19, access to water and sanitation have become essential to mitigate the spread of this disease. Ensuring affordable and smart solutions for household, parishes, and districts across this nation is key if we are to achieve sustainable development. A holistic approach will call on us to value water sources, water infrastructure, water services, water as an input for production and socioeconomic activity, as well as water as part of our cultural and spiritual heritage. Ladies and gentlemen, on 23rd March, we shall commemorate the World Meteorological Day under the theme, The Ocean, Our Climate, and Weather. Oceans cover some 70% of the Earth's surface, making them a major driver of the world's weather and climate change. Oceans are also major drivers of the global economy, carrying more than 90% of the world trade and sustaining 40% of the human race living within 100 kilometers of the coast. Uganda, as I like to call it, a land-linked country, with most of its goods coming from the coast of Mombasa and Dar es Salaam, is part of the East African community and accesses water that way. But I want you to imagine for a moment if we were to work on cross-border value chains. This would enable Ugandan farmers and entrepreneurs to establish targeted links with partners in Kenya and Tanzania, which will enable East Africa to be in a robust position to benefit from the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. Imagine wheat and maize grown and preserved with high quality post-harvest services in Uganda, packed in Kenya, sold to Nigeria, South Africa, Singapore, Australia, the EU, and even the United States. But before I conclude, I wish to highlight that the COVID-19 pandemic requires us to change the way we do business, how we commemorate events, how we teach our children, and how we share knowledge. In this context, this year, we must stay focused, keeping our distance, wearing masks at all times in public places, washing our hands frequently with soap and clean water, or disinfecting them as we mark this water week. This is an opportunity for each one of us to pay tribute to human commitment and ingenuity with those around us. So I encourage you to post an encouraging message, to organize a webinar, or to go on a radio talk show. Together, let's highlight the importance of preservation. We cannot improve livelihoods or achieve prosperity without determining how we will protect Mother Nature. Allow me to share some statistics to inspire our action. A, around half of the global GDP depends on nature. B, our oceans and forests sustain billions of people and provide green jobs. 86 million green jobs come from the forest alone. C, 4 billion people rely primarily on natural medicines. And D, natural climate solutions such as afforestation and using greenery 
to cool our new cities and buildings can provide up to one third of the emissions reductions we need to meet the Paris Agreement goals. Honorable Minister, representing the Right Honorable Prime Minister, allow me to appreciate the working relationship between the government, the parliament, the United Nations, development partners, civil society and private sector in supporting climate change advocacy and natural resources agenda in this country. Through the UN Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework under the second strategic priority, we commit to supporting the attainment of shared prosperity in a healthy environment. We will focus on reducing environmental degradation and the adverse effects of climate change while also improving the utilization of natural resources for sustainable economic growth. This is part of our contribution as the United Nations to supporting Uganda to attain the SDGs, the National Vision 2040, and the NDP 3. As I conclude and reiterate the United Nations commitment to a healthy world that will support health, peace, and prosperity for generations to come, let me end with a quote from Nelson Mandela. I quote, We can change the world and make it a better place. It is in your hands to make a difference. End quote. Together, let's make a difference, preserve our planet for the next generation, and ensure that no one is left behind as the Pearl of Africa achieves inclusive prosperity. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Rosa Malango, UN President Coordinator in Uganda. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Can we put up our hands much better than we did for Rosa? May I request that you also clap for my colleague, Josephine Karunji. Um, I'm not a stranger in the house, but I'm going to be assisting Josephine, and together we shall ensure that this program runs smoothly. My name is Charles Odongso, and I'm a journalist, but also a lawyer, but I do mostly media work. Thank you so much. Now that we have heard from the UN body, may we put our hands and welcome the Honorable Sam Chektoris, the Minister in charge of water and environment, who is also representing the Prime Minister of Uganda. Honorable Minister, sir, you're most welcome to take to the podium. Um, I see the Minister. Oh, the Minister has uh, requested um, someone else to take up some of the tasks. I'll request Madam, that uh, since I don't have your details here, you help the room by starting with an introduction of yourself and then we can move forward. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thank you very much, uh, our moderator. I'm Dr. Florence Grace Adongo. I'm the Director for Water Resources Management and the Chair of the National Organizing Committee for the Uganda Water and Environment Week 2021. I'm here to represent my minister. As a technical person, you should be ready for anything. So I am ready to represent the Minister of Water and Environment, Honorable Sam Cheptori, uh, and I would like to read his message verbatim. 
the Right Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda, represented by the Minister of Water and Environment, Honorable Sam Chepteris, Honorable Ministers, Members of Parliament, the UN Resident Coordinator, the UNDP Resident Representative, representatives of the development partners, cultural leaders, private sector and civil society organizations, representatives of other stakeholders, senior government officials in your respective capacities, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I wish to take this opportunity to welcome you to the fourth Uganda Water and Environment Week being held on this day, 21st of March 2021. In a special way, I wish to welcome our guest of honor, Mr. Sam Chepteris, Minister of Water and Environment, who is representing the Right Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda for coming to officiate over this important function. Thank you for honoring our invitation, and uh, we are very appreciative of your time spent, which you could have otherwise have been doing something uh, else. Your officiating at this event, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, is a demonstration of the importance the government attaches to water and environment issues. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, this is the first time that such an event is being organized in Uganda. As a ministry, we have learned from the experiences of the last three Water and Environment Week events where during the organization and we continue to improve as we learn by doing. We shall therefore continue to address anything that may not have been well done since we are very committed to the Water and Environment Week as an important annual event in the ministry. I wish to take this opportunity to thank the various organizations, agencies, and partners that have worked tirelessly in this ministry, with this ministry to ensure that this event takes place uh, successfully. Your contributions are very much appreciated. In a special way, I wish to thank and congratulate the team lead for the Uganda Workers Association that worked from the ministry here to promote and sensitize the public on environment, climate change, public health and water and they covered a distance of 371 kilometers up to the banks of River Nyamwamba in Kasese. The team has been collaborating with the, this ministry to raise awareness on this important subject matter and we want to enlist our support to the people of Uganda as we collectively move the advance the importance of sustainable management of water and environment resources. You are our heroes and you have made us very proud once again. Several prevent activities of course have been done have been taking place in different parts of the country until this morning, as you have seen on the video. We therefore want to thank all those who have participated in one way or another in making all these prevent activities very successful. Ladies and gentlemen, the theme for the fourth Water Environment Week is Water and Environment Security for Socioeconomic Transformation of Uganda. As you have heard and read this event, is being celebrated under four sub themes. One, valuing water and environment resources for socioeconomic transformation of Uganda. Two, water and environment in a creative economy. C, managing water and environment shocks. And D, water and environment security for smart urban growth. Looking at the setup of the Water and Environment Week 2021, it is clear that it is intrinsically linked to National Development Plan 3, which focuses on enhancing value addition in key growth opportunities, reducing environmental degradation and adverse effects of climate change, as well as improving utilization of natural resources for sustainable economic growth and livelihood security. 
distinguished ladies and gentlemen, water and environment resources are key strategic resources that are very vital for sustaining our life, promoting development, and maintaining the environment. We need to remember that there is no activity that can be undertaken where water and environment resources are not involved. At either its primary stage as primary input or as a secondary in input, or indirectly by regulating our climate. For example, access to clean and safe water and improved sanitation facilities and practices are a prerequisite to a healthy population, and therefore we have a direct impact on the quality of life and productivity of the population. We are all aware that currently the COVID-19 pandemic prevention number one is to use safe water for washing your hands and observing sanitation and hygiene among others. This therefore raises the importance of water and environment to another higher level. Besides domestic water supply, water is also vital for livestock, industries, hydropower generation, agriculture, marine transport, fisheries, waste discharge, tourism, and environment conservation, among others. Water and environment, therefore, significantly contribute to the national socioeconomic development, although we most of the time, take it for granted. The Ministry of Water and Environment conducted a study a few years ago on the economic contribution of water and environment to the economy. The study clearly demonstrated that the importance of water and environment resources to Uganda is well pronounced, as long as we would want to pursue our developmental aspirations. The study noted that substantial investment in environmental management and water resources are required to triple Uganda's water delivery levels, an essential contribution to country's economy to meet its Vision 2040 growth target. Therefore, as Uganda seeks to industrialize and meet its national development goals, water and environment management will be critical to ensure steady growth of the manufacturing, agricultural, and other key service sectors. As we have already been informed, the Water and Environment Week 2021 comprised of a number of activities which I have earlier on mentioned. And from the previous speaker we have just had the commemoration of the International Days for Forest, Water, and Meteorology. I wish to thank the United Nations Coordinator for accepting to join us and deliver the key messages for these three international days. As always, we expect that this event will provide an opportunity to all of you, add value to your knowledge, our stakeholders. We also exchange views and experiences and practices that are key in moving water and environment resources management and development forward. I wish therefore to call upon you to participate actively in various activities and benefit from a wealth of knowledge and experience present here. I want to assure you that this ministry's commitment to move forward the deliberations and recommendations of the Water and Environment Week 2021 is paramount and we shall be, be using all the information to revo revolutionize the management and development of these resources and focus more to, towards its contribution to socioeconomic transformation of Uganda. I want to take this opportunity to thank you all for coming and staying online for this important opening function. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is now my singular honor and privilege to invite the Right Honorable Prime Minister of Uganda, represented by the Minister of Water and Environment, to deliver his speech and formally open the fourth 
Uganda Water and Environment Week. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister in waiting. <laughs> the Prime Minister was supposed to be here with us to deliver his speech. Unfortunately, he sent his uh, apologies that he is uh, engaged in an equally important activity. So I'm here to read his speech. Honorable Minister of Water and Environment, Honorable Minister of Lands, Water and Environment of Uganda Kingdom, Honorable Ministers of State, Members of Parliament Online, the United Nations Resident Coordinator, UNDP Resident Representative, representatives of the various development partners, representatives of private sector and the civil society organizations, representatives of other stakeholders, government officials, all Ugandans watching and listening to this event, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to take this opportunity to address you during the opening of the fourth Uganda Water and Environment Week. I wish to congratulate the Minister of Water and Environment and its various partners for organizing the first Uganda Water and Environment Week and for bringing together all the key stakeholders to dialogue on issues affecting the sector and the Uganda in general. I'm happy to note that you have maintained these annual celebrations as a way of providing an interface between sector actors and other stakeholders for knowledge exchange, dialoguing, and the learnings on issues related to sustainable development and the management of water and the environment resources. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, Water and environment resources support life. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, water and environment resources support life and social economic activities. These resources are central to agriculture, the Ministry of Uganda's economy, from which 85% of the population derives their incomes and their livelihoods. Provision of adequate water for agriculture will spur transformation of the economy through increased productivity for both livestock and the crops. Water is also required as an indispensable input in agro-industrialization. It must therefore be available in adequate quantities and the corresponding quality at the right time and right place in order to contribute to the achievement of the development goal of increased household incomes and improved quality of life of the population. Environment and natural sources are however under increasing pressure despite their importance in ensuring water and environment security and social economic growth. For example, the forest cover has declined from 24% of Uganda's total land area in 1990 to 12.4% currently. 
This is a major attribute 